Hi, this is P5, Chapter 4, Average Question 8. Average weekly number of knobs, door knobs produced by factory A is 3486. This is the average weekly. Average weekly of the door knobs produced by factory A and C is 6586. So, they mentioned that if factory B produces 27 as many door knobs as factory C in each week, how many door knobs does factory A produce weekly? Okay, so how do we do from here? Let's, uh, uh, we're going to go for our second reading, alright? So, they mentioned that the average of factory A and B is 3, 4, 8, 6. Average weekly for A and C, factory A and C is 6, 5, 8, 6. So from here, I always mention that we need to find average. We need always to find to come back to the total. Let's find the total of our A and B, which is 3, 4, 8, 6. We times 2, where we're going to get 6, 9, 7, 2. Okay, then we're going to find the total of A plus C, which is 6, 5, 8, 6 times 2, where we're going to get 13,000, 7, it's not 700, it's 100. 172 okay all right so then they mention about the factory b produce seven as many as c so these two units belongs to the b and the seven unit belongs to the c all right and they ask to find how many does the factory a produce weekly okay so from here what we can gather uh, there's more than two unknowns over here. We cannot solve maths with more than two unknowns. So what we'll do is we need to eliminate one of it. Alright. So we're going to do the simultaneous equation. Let's call this equation. Um, okay, I'm going to do this equation first. Let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So A plus B will give us because this is the total now 6 9 7 2 and a plus c will give us 1 3 1 7 2 so with this we know we can eliminate off the a okay we minus so we take equation is always the big the bigger equation okay the bigger equation um this one minus the smaller one all right so we're gonna take equation this is equation two right this number one so we're gonna take equation two minus equation one right where it will be c minus b so it's c minus b this is actually a minus a is zero so there's nothing for a then we become c minus b means b means c is bigger than our b so that will give us 13172 minus 6972 okay let me just jot here so that you can see it clearer this will give us when we minus off is 6200 so therefore Therefore, if you were to draw, if you're going to draw a model, because you see, the B is 2, right? And our first one, the B, at the sentence here, the B is 2, the C is 7, right? So, we're going to draw either one, doesn't matter. Okay, let's say you're going to draw the B first. So, the B is 2 unit. And the C has to be 7. So this is already 2, three, four, five, six, seven. okay. So the difference here that you can see is this part, 
okay that is six two zero zero so from here I'm just gonna make it highlight that you can see better okay so this part so from here we can see is five units right so we can see the equivalent now five unit is equivalent to six thousand two hundred we use this equation okay now they want us to find equation the factory a the the small they don't have a the number of units here so the smaller one that we can use we can use either one of the um what's that called uh we can use either one of the equation either equation one or equation two for me i prefer to take b okay that's it because b has smaller unit so i find b now which is six two zero zero we divide by five and we multiply two that will give us two four eight zero okay two four eight zero is our b therefore then we use uh, the one that consists the b is um, our equation one right so from this equation one uh, a plus b will give us six nine seven two now therefore to find a it's six nine seven two minus our b okay because this b we bring over we get minus so minus our b b is two four this one is our b is two four eight zero so a itself is four four nine two okay so i hope uh this question is uh the explanation is easy for you to understand uh is clear so that you are able to teach your child at home. I'll see you in the next video.